Okay, this review is on the Samsung 3D LED Series 8000 46 inch TV. Now I know that's quite a mouthful, but we're going to go over some of the aspects of this TV and, and uh, see if this is the right one for you. So again, this is a Samsung LED 3D 46 inch television, and it is the 8000 series and not the 7000 series. So let's get into it. Okay, the first thing to notice is that the picture, while you can't tell it in this video, is absolutely fantastic. Uh, it really is the best picture that I've ever seen, um, which sounds kind of like hyperbole, but it, it really is true. Um, it is extremely clear and extremely bright. So uh, from a picture standpoint, it can't be beat. This is the actual thickness of the television. Here's the remote control, and what you'll see is that the TV is roughly the same thickness as the remote control. So it's very thin and consequently relatively light. So that's a, a nice little bonus on a TV that has uh, actually a fantastic look to it in terms of the actual frame. Uh, they call it a brushed titanium, so it has a, a bit of a metallic look. It has this uh, nice pivoting uh, stand that it's on. It's, you know, it's again like a brushed titanium, so the stand itself is also very nice. Next thing I'd like to show is that the actual hand unit here where you can manually change channels and, and uh, power is just a nice little touch screen. So that's all there is to it. You touch it on, you touch it off. So no buttons to push. The uh, back of the TV has four HDMI inputs. It has a USB input and then general uh, uh, component inputs and, and also a LAM which you hook here to give yourself uh, connectivity through to the uh, to the internet. Now one thing that is kind of uh, odd is that the TV is not Wi-Fi compatible or it's not, I'm sorry, not Wi-Fi installed. Um, that would have been kind of nice if the Samsung had went ahead and put a Wi-Fi card on here but um, not likely a deal killer and I'll show you why. For internet TV and you come to this, it's the uh, Samsung World of Applications where you can use Vudu, Netflix, Blockbuster, um, ESPN Next Level, and other different applications to kind of enhance your movie, uh, your TV experience. Um, this is a nice feature. It does require you to hook uh, your TV up into an Ethernet connection or to get a Wi-Fi card that is available through, uh, through uh, Samsung. Uh, however, I think you're going to find this is the reason why you're buying the television. Um, again, if you get a, a black, uh, a Samsung, a Blu-ray player, um, this also comes included with it. So while it's a, kind of a nice extra feature, uh, not necessarily you know a must-have. Like you, maybe it's a little odd. Um, I've actually never watched the TV in 3D mode, and uh, while it seems crazy that a person would buy a 3D television and never use it, there is a logic behind it. One is with the precision dimming and the 240 hertz. Um, capability of the television, um, the extreme brightness that's required for a 3D television. This is really the best picture you can buy, um, bar none. It just happens to be a 3D television. Now, 3D technology is such that in 2010, the Blu-ray players and the movies that are available and the glasses haven't quite caught up with the actual television. So I'm waiting, waiting for the price to come down a little bit and, and waiting for more selection and availability. But in the meantime, I have a fantastic picture on a TV at about the same price as a regular high-end television. So it does make sense to go ahead and buy a 3D television without any immediate plans to use it in 3D. To make note of, for your HDMI connection, um, you're going to need a high-speed uh, HDMI cable, the newest generation, and not just a standard HDMI. Um, I would uh, highly recommend that you look at places other than box stores, for instance, Amazon, Amazon Basics for your HDMI cables so you can save a considerable amount of money. So that's just a little pointer on maybe where to get your, your, uh, your new HDMI cables. On 3D LED 8000 series television, um, I've done my homework on when I went to purchase a television. For about six months, I went to the, the different stores trying to find one that had the absolute best picture. And uh, this is the winner. Um, far and away the best picture I've seen, when you couple it with something like Apple Television and your, your personal photos, you get a uh, just an amazing, amazing picture. 
and uh, in, in, the, in the TV itself is less like a television and more like a gigantic picture frame. So it's, it really is nice both in terms of picture quality and the way it looks on a TV stand. Um, the audio on it is more than acceptable. Um, the picture is fantastic. Um, it has a lot of uh, up features like being 3D, the four HDMI ports, the internet connections, again, all nice features. But at the end of the day, it really is the best picture that money can buy.